Well, hey, what's going on? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone, and today we're gonna make some pickups. Um, I was thinking, I haven't done this in a while, where we just kind of made a video of like going through the process of making some, we're gonna make some single coils. I think we're gonna actually wind a P90 today, and we're gonna wind a humbucker today. So maybe we'll just run through all of, well, I tell you what, let's split it up. Let's do single coils first. We're gonna do some Telecaster stuff, and then maybe next week, maybe we'll split it up. But the biggest question we've been getting here at Dylan Talks Tone is now that we've sold our house, we bought a motorhome and we bought a Jeep and we live in this motorhome now, uh, how do I even do this? How do we continue to make pickups? How do we ship stuff? How do we do all that? So I'm gonna show you that today too because um, I'm probably the only pickup builder that I don't know. I don't know anybody else that's living in a motorhome and doing this and driving around and, well, okay, theoretically driving around. So right now we're back at my in-laws in the driveway um, because of all of this stuff, COVID-19 stuff going on. Um, they closed, everything's closed. So we're kind of stuck. So just as soon as we buy this thing and we're ready to go and do a bunch of cool stuff, now we're stuck back in the driveway where we started. So, that's okay, it doesn't matter. I have my own space now, everything is cool. Uh, come on, let me just give you a quick nickel tour and then I'll show you how we make pickups. So, uh, welcome to our house, slash Dylan Talks Tone, slash Music and Mascara. Um, everything happens in this space. So, starting up here, basically, I uh, got the driving end of the thing and we've converted this whole little corner into our um, editing bay so my big computer that I built for video editing sits right there we got a monitor right there everything works and then when we just when we go somewhere I just stow the monitor and the keyboard it works perfect um, back here we have our living room and our kitchen um, just a normal kitchen normal normal stuff I mean it's RV version but it's you know normal stuff uh, fridge dining room so this is the area that's going to turn into uh, Dylan talks tone today so we'll do that here in just a minute uh, as we go back here <clears throat> we've got our first bathroom so we've got a half bath in here um, and then we've also got our bedroom with a uh, king size bed TV that we never use and a big closet over here and then this is our master bath um, it's pretty sweet it does everything a bathroom should do and it's pretty awesome so uh, now that I just give you the quick five second tour then uh, let's go ahead and turn this place into Dylan talks tone for the day and let's make some single coil pickups So the setup is pretty simple, straightforward. Basically, uh, we have our winding machine. We have coils of wire. We have a soldering iron. We have our hookup wire in a couple of different colors. And uh, we have our bobbins. Now, our bobbins, um, we kind of skipped a step together. The bobbins come um, as these flat pieces. So the flat work actually comes separately from the magnets and I have a two-ton press down below that basically yesterday set up on the counter over here in the kitchen and pressed a bunch of bobbins together. And so basically you take the loose magnets, press them into the bobbins, and then um, dip them in urethane or whatever you want to to insulate the magnets. Um, typically we'll put tape around the magnets also. Um, I'm not going to on this one, I'm building this one for myself and just so you can see bare. But basically the bottom line is we take this, we stick this on here, better than that. And we're gonna go ahead and wind some single coil pickups. All right, so first things first, uh, basically we run the start wire through the hole and get it where we want it. And then I've got alignment marks on my winder right here 
where all this stuff lines up and we just stick it on there and about every five or six seven pickups I don't know whatever maybe ten just kind of depends I have to replace the tape which it looks like I have to do right now all right now that we got the tape sorted and we've got the pickup on there uh, we set our guides to the right width which should be right from the last time I did this yep and we start winding now this is just a matter of whatever method you have found especially on a hand winder like this where we're not doing uh, so this is called the traverse basically the as the wire goes back and forth across the spool and then of course the tension is being controlled by my hand the spool is sitting on the floor on end and the wire is just coming up off of the end of the spool and we are winding that's it man um, so this is all controlled by my hand I have a wheel over here on the our knob over here on the left side of the winder that controls the speed um, and then I control the tension with my thumb and my index finger and then I also control the traverse so how many winds per layer and how scattered it is that sort of thing which I don't get into those details because that's different for every winder and of course we have what we like to do here and I can't give up everything uh, and then as far as the number of winds and that sort of stuff I don't talk about that particular thing either because that's our kind of our specs for our pickups but the general idea here is wind this pickup let me go ahead and get this done and I will show you what we do at the end alright so we've got our prescribed for this particular pickup amount of winds onto the pickup so we basically just break the wire off at the end and I'm real careful when I take this thing off because I don't want to break that first wire that we put in so now I take 12 inches of lead wire take 12 inches of lead wire I usually give you a little more I tell you um, a little trick if you want to rewire your whole Telecaster once you install pickups that have about a foot of lead wire on them you'll really only use about this much and there's enough wire left over that you can actually rewire your whole telly and when we put the ground side in we make that a little bit longer because what we want is there to be enough to solder to the base plate side draw in put the white side in check it with a meter and it's exactly where we want it to be now you may notice that this is a Telecaster bridge pickup, but it doesn't have a metal base plate on it yet. So what I'll do typically is I'll make up a bunch of pickups all at the same time. Uh, and then I will actually go out to my Gauser my mag to magnetize the magnets. And I'll do that first before I put the base plate on because it makes it difficult to do it if you put the base plate on first. So this is a wound Telecaster bridge pickup. So now we have to do a bunch more. Uh, so let me get these knocked out and then I'll show you how um, we do the final assembly on them. Alright, so we've got the pickups all magnetized and they're basically complete. What we're going to do now is put a piece of tape across the bottom of the magnets. To insulate that 
from the base plate. We're going to take the metal base plate and see it's magnetized so it makes it easier. Make sure all the holes line up for the mounting screws. And we're going to bend over the metal. In fact, we're going to do both of them at the same time so I can do this in easy succession. And now we're going to solder that lead to the base plate. This takes a little time because this base plate needs to get good and hot. Alright, so now all we got to do is wax pot these babies and package them up and send them out. Alright, well there you go. Uh, made some Tele Bridge pickups. Uh, hopefully that gives you a little insight. I, we've been getting a lot of questions. Are you still going to be able to make pickups? Um, sorry, it's really windy today. Um, are you, are you going to be able to make pickups? Are you going to be able to ship stuff? Yep, so all that stuff gets put away and then we have um, scale and printer and all that stuff for shipping and we have one of these compartments down here um, on the coach that has all of our shipping stuff in it, packaging and bubble wrap and all that stuff. So everything happens fine. So we wax pot those pickups this afternoon. Tomorrow morning they get all packaged and they got all shipped out. So we do that, uh, I mean, that's, that's what happens. You know, my back's broken in four places. So it's not like I can sit here and do this eight hours a day anyway. So the scale uh, that we do this at, it, this all works perfect. Um, I have gotten a lot of criticism in the past for like, you just work out of your house and now you just work out of your motorhome. That doesn't seem very professional. Uh, we make really good pickups and they're consistent and they're amazing and they, so what more do you want? Uh, the thing is, I don't have to wear pants. I mean, I'm making a video right now, so I have to, but uh, who wouldn't want to do it this way? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, we get criticism for this is how you should do it, and you're not doing it the blah, 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 traditional whatever way, and I, I kind of don't care. Um, you know, makes good stuff, and we get to make awesome pickups. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to share a little tour of what we got going, how we're doing it. Um, obviously, it's a little different right now because we're in somebody's driveway instead of out on the road like we'd like to be so hopefully after the after this whole thing kind of settles down hopefully I don't know when that'll be but um, hopefully we'll get out and maybe get to see some of you out on the road and uh, meet you in person so that's the goal I mean that's the whole point of doing all this so hopefully we can do that if you have any questions about any of this stuff put it in the comments um, be nice obviously and uh, we'll see it uh, actually I'm gonna go ahead and release this probably on Wednesday so I guess when you see this video, tomorrow will be a live stream. This is like a bonus in between video. And then I'm just making videos right now. Um, Mondays and Thursdays obviously are the schedule, but I'm just making videos right now because there's nothing else to do except for make videos and make pickups. So uh, that's what we got. Thanks for hanging out and uh, we'll see you soon. Check out patreon.com slash Dylan Talks Tone, um, all that other stuff. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.